Hey, what's up guys? Uh, welcome once again to BD Ant Preparedness. Uh, I am Big G, your, well, bald, 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 beautiful host here. I gotta cover up my noggin, that way the light don't reflect off and blind y'all. Anyway, stick with me here. We're gonna look at Proverbs 14:23. All hard work brings a profit, but mere talk leans only to poverty. Stay with me, guys. And we're back. Uh, yeah, like I've said before, Bible, it's, uh, it's got some good stuff in there. It's pretty, whoever wrote that's pretty smart, right? Uh, yeah. Hard work always brings profit, paraphrasing now, but mere talk will lead to poverty. I've talked on here before about doing, okay? Just do, okay? Quit being a talker, quit thinking about it, and this, and just go ahead and do. Um, unfortunately, there are a lot, a lot, a lot of people that are preparedness-minded, okay? But they're mostly talk. Um, they love to talk about the grid going down and the security that they're going to put up around their house and they've got this and that but when it comes down to it they're not willing to put in the work okay uh, case in point if you guys watch my channel uh, I'm a member of a group here in Ohio a uh, preparedness group uh, also anybody looking for a group out there and you are in uh, Ohio or even if you just want to make contacts with another group drop me a line emails always down in the uh, excuse me emails always down in the description um, but uh, our group is getting to the point now to where we're starting to cycle through guys uh, when I first started this up uh, I knew that probably about two three months in that's when we were going to start seeing guys dropping off and stuff like that You're, the whole adage of the cream rising to the top okay uh, in our group uh, we've probably got four five maybe six guys that I can kind of depend on those guys. Uh, the other ones, um, not so much. Uh, now, a lot of those guys have other things going on. You know, that it, it's it's a long way to drive, and I get that. Uh, just too busy at home, and and I, I get that. But like I always tell them, if you can't make one of the meetings or the calls or things like that just let us know we all know that you got lives this is not your life just let somebody know but last month we had our meet up and one other guy showed up and that is very depressing <laughs> so it's uh so what i'm saying is and I'm not saying that those guys don't care. They're not committed. People have things going on. Uh, we get that. But there have been members that have never made it to a meetup. And they are no longer members. Um, we do have certain requirements that our probationary members have to meet before they become full-fledged members in good standing and stuff like that. But I mentioned the group because I didn't realize how bad it was as far as the talk a good game, but when it comes time to put up, they ain't there. Um, I've always noticed, and I mentioned on here before about if you look at different guys channels mine and mine included the uh, the videos that are the I uh, call it the doomer porn right into the world's coming guys you know 
those get all kinds of views. But the videos that show you, like I've got a video on how to pressure can chicken for storage. Very few views. <laughs> so it's like, guys like that, they like the the idea of being a prepper and talking about it, but when it comes down to it, they're not doing the things. Um, we have certain requirements in our group uh, that people have to meet. Uh, you have to constantly be growing, okay, because if you're just, yeah, I'm good, I got everything I need. No, you're not, because you're food you have stockpiled is getting older you need to be constantly replenishing that blah 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 uh, so we encourage that we encourage constant growth uh, and we've got different levels for each category and four different cat four different levels in each category and that fourth level is about near impossible to get it's attainable but it's about near impossible, so it's like, it always gives you something to shoot for. Um, but yeah, we gotta start, we have to stop, excuse me, we have to stop talking a good game and start doing a good game, guys. Um, I don't know what percentage of the country is considered preparedness minded and all that other good stuff but if I had to guess and this is strictly a guess I haven't polled or run any scientific data but from the looks of it the 10% rules still kind of apply uh, of all the people that are preparedness minded probably about 10% 1 out of 10 uh, are taking it you know for real and I don't mean bomb shelter uh, you know 20 years of food stocked up I'm not talking about that um, I'm just talking about learning from other people trying to actually learn skills instead of just clicking on the doomer porn and all the clickbait and all this all the newest knife all this is so cool no nah. Uh, learn the skills guys I preach that and preach that and preach that is what is going to save you is the skills is what's going to save you because like I always say everything is either going to eventually run out or break and you are going to have to be dependent on the skills you have um, but uh, yeah Hard work will always produce results, right? Just like old Proverbs says here. But talk will lead to poverty. And that is the same when it comes to prepping. Um, those guys out there that talk a good game but are not putting in the work, if something were to happen, they're going to be in trouble. And that's why it's like I had my buddy tell me, I think I mentioned it on one of the videos, um that there's going to be a lot of houses with a lot of supplies out there and I'm like what are you talking about and he kind of told me he's like yeah because you got these people that yeah they'll get some stuff and they're and they're re relying on their stuff I got stuff but they don't have anything else you know we talk about the gun guy that's got all the guns and all the ammo but he's got nothing else uh, we have we talk about all the guys because we like to prep evenly you know uh, the guys that focus on one area. Yeah, if you're not prepping evenly, you're not going to make it. Uh, and if you're not taking this stuff seriously, and I'm not talking about, yeah, moving to the middle of nowhere and hunkering down and being a hermit. I'm not talking about that. I'm just talking about constantly learning, constantly preparing, and it doesn't have to eat up, you know, your entire budget to do it. Um, but just that constant evolving, guys. Um, you have to constantly be doing that stuff. Yeah, the gizmos and gadgets are cool. Um, I've got a cool, I've got a cool, I've got a couple of them that uh, I actually like, and I was going to make a little video about them sometime. Uh, some of the cool little trinkets that are actually 
useful instead of just, oh, this credit card thing's got 50 tools on it. <laughs> no, you can't. <laughs> That's not going to do you any good. Or this credit card has 30 hooks on it. Yeah, that are going to bend the first time something gets them. Any, sorry, I'm, if you guys like those things, I apologize. Um, they, they seem ridiculous to the point that I haven't even tried them, so I can't really speak on it. I haven't tried them. That they might work great. I don't know. Um, but, uh, yeah. Uh, as you guys know, I recommend everybody, even if you don't get in a group, seek out like-minded people to learn from. Uh, even if you're not looking, we're going to join up a group together and we're going to buy a piece of property and that's where we're at. Even if you're not getting to that point, if you just have other like-minded people that you can learn from, bounce ideas off of, and to encourage you, because without encouragement, we all kind of fall flat. And, and that's just the way it is. You know, it's like on this channel, and I know I'm going to get some comments about this, but uh, started a diet a few months ago. Yeah, dude, that lasted like two months, and now I'm back. It's like i got to drop some weight. Um, and I'm not saying I, I have zero encouragement, but, uh, yeah, I'm sure if I joined up with the uh, Army and, or the Marines, I'd probably drop some weight really quick, right? <laughs> You'd have plenty of encouragement there. But anyway, not to get off on a tangent, but we need that constant encouragement, that constant support, uh, and a kick in the butt every now and then if that's what we need uh, to get us back on track. Uh, you guys know, you know, I quoted from the Bible here, I am a Christian, uh, and God talks about, you know, everybody's heard, spare the rod, spoil the child, and he who loves his son will correct him. Well, it talks about God correcting us, too. So uh, when we start to get off the straight and narrow a little bit, God sometimes has to give us a little kick in the behind. Um, but, uh, you know, you got to start, you got to quit taking this as a hobby, guys, and quit talking a good game. And then when it comes time to deliver, nothing is happening. Um you got to step up your game here and it's like I hear about everybody screaming about all oh, the elections and it's gonna if you're that concerned about it then why aren't you doing something about it okay or all oh, corona's gonna come back and it's gonna okay then why aren't you doing something about it or yeah next year the economic ah, the economy's gonna be in the toilet okay what are you doing about it okay Instead of just talking about all these scenarios that could happen and blah, 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 do something about it. So I'll, uh, I'll get off my soapbox here. But uh, yeah, guys, biggest thing. Once again, all hard work brings profit, but mere talk leads only to poverty. Think on that. Think on that hard. Think about where you're talking and where you're working. Figure out what you need to do. Till next time, we'll talk to y'all after a while.